Good morning and thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing for Thursday, August 16th. We're seeing an abundance of serious clouds out there this morning. Otherwise, seeing just partly sunny skies and we are going to be seeing a very warm day today with temperatures in the lower 90s with a slight uptick in humidity as well. Taking a look at our conditions across the area from yesterday, we did see widespread temperatures hovering near 90 degrees across the entire Mid-Atlantic. Warm spots were Norfolk and D.C. at 92. Here at Wallops, we reached 90 degrees on the mark. Taking a look at our lows this morning, uh, we did see uh, lows hover around 70 degrees for most locations. Norfolk and here at Wallops were actually the warm spots uh, for the morning lows with temperatures in the mid-70s. Taking a look at our temperatures as of 9 a.m., we are seeing most locations report near 80 degrees. Here at Wallops at 80 at uh, 9 a.m., we were actually the warmest temperature so far with a high of 84, most areas under partly sunny skies. Taking a look at our sounding from this morning, uh, as we have upper-level ridging build across the mid-Atlantic region, we are seeing those upper-level winds become very light with uh, westerly winds at the surface up to 6,000 feet, only running between 5 and 10 knots. Then winds become pretty light and variable between that 9 and 12,000 foot layer and then only becoming around 10 knots from the southwest between 16 to 20,000 feet, maxing out at only around 20 to 25 knots to the 25,000 foot level at from the west-northwest. Our freezing level this morning is near 15,000 feet. Taking a look at our surface analysis this morning, you can see that high pressure building in across the mid-Atlantic with uh, some associated upper-level ridging as well that has created quite a bit of subsidence across the area, which has um, suppressed any precipitation chances that we would might otherwise have so expecting another dry day today as well as tomorrow and we are also going to continue to see those southwesterly flow as that uh, Bermuda high uh, builds just a little bit and that's going to help to usher in a, a very warm air mass into the region as well as a slow uptick in humidity today with a further increase in that humidity as we go into tomorrow. Taking a look at our forecast chart for today, we're just going to continue to see that uh, high pressure in control throughout today. That uh, abundance of precipitation across the Ohio Valley is um, causing us to have some uh, serious clouds that are uh, broken to overcast across the region today as it rises over the high pressure into the Delmarva. And that's going to basically be the main cloud cover as we go throughout the day into tonight with high pressure remaining in con control. As we go throughout the day Friday, that up level ridge will begin to weaken a bit. Southwesterly flow will increase tomorrow. It does look to be the hottest day across the region. We will also see uh, some humidity increase across the region. So we will be seeing those heat indexes uh, rise above 100 degrees as we go into tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. As we go into tomorrow evening, we are going to be seeing a, a weak short wave approach the area from the west. And that is going to give us a slight chance of some scattered shower activity mainly overnight between Friday night between Friday and Saturday uh, right now it looks like the best energy is going to remain north and west of the Wallops region so while there is a slight chance of some scattered showers and a very slight chance of a thunderstorm late Friday night it does look more likely that that activity will remain just to the north and west of Wallops as we go into Saturday however that uh, front is going to become much closer to the Wallops region stretching across central portions of the Delmarva and along with the upper level energy associated with it. So there is going to be a much better chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms across the uh, Delmarva and Wallops region on Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon. And then uh, it does look like that front is going to linger across uh, central portions of the Delmarva or perhaps near the Virginia, North Carolina border, continuing daily rain chances throughout the weekend and into at least early next week. Taking a look at our weather chart for today, going to be seeing a high of 91 degrees today, mainly just going to continue to see these upper level cirrus clouds that we've been seeing all morning throughout the day and into tonight as well. Uh, only world weather, weather hazard is we could see those uh, heat in, that heat index briefly touch 100 degrees um, late this morning and into this afternoon. Winds are going to uh, increase this only, south, only uh, around 5 to 10 knots from the southwest this afternoon, and then as we go into the late afternoon hours, we'll see a bit of a sea breeze kick up turning those winds more southerly, with winds becoming uh, 4 to 9 knots from the south this evening and then turning southwesterly again at 3 to 8 knots after midnight Friday, becoming 5 to 10 knots by mid-morning Friday with a very muggy low expected for Friday morning of 77 degrees. It does uh, Taking a look at our terminal forecast here, main uh, 
story on this TAF is going to be that abundance of upper level cloudiness, mainly at 25,000 feet. As we go into this afternoon, we'll see just a couple of, uh, of uh, fair weather cumulus clouds pop up near 3,000 feet, possibly becoming scattered at times this afternoon. And then we'll see uh, that deck near 20,000 feet lower with a continued overcast deck near 25,000 feet. And that's basically going to continue throughout tonight. And then as we go into tomorrow morning, you're going to be seeing a few lower level clouds near 1,000 feet, a few at 4,000, and then a scattered mid-level deck at 15,000 with a continued broken deck of cirrus clouds at 25,000 feet. For tomorrow, tomorrow does look to be the hottest day of the week with a high of 93 expected. Continue partly cloudy, and we're also going to see a bit more humidity in the area, so it is going to be uh, rather humid as well. On Friday night, going to be a mostly cloudy and muggy with those chances of scattered showers as that uh, weak front approaches the region. Very slight chance of a thunderstorm as well, but it does look more likely that that energy will remain north and west of Wallops, keeping the uh, bulk of any possible shower activity um, away from the Wallops region. It is going to be a pretty warm low Friday night of 78. On Saturday, however, that uh, front is going to stretch across the central portion of Delmarva, bringing mostly cloudy skies with scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. There is still going to be some sunshine as well as a southwesterly flow across uh, wallops here, so that's still going to give us a very warm high of 89, and it's going to be uh, very humid out there. Heat indexes are likely to uh, exceed 105 in spots, so uh, definitely not a good day to do any outside activity with possible thunderstorms in those uh, dangerous heat indexes expected. Taking a look at our seven day forecast here, like I said, tomorrow is going to be the warmest day with a high of 93. We are going to see an increase in cloudiness in the evening as that uh, shortwave energy approaches. Best chances for any shower activity, although it's only looking like a 20% chance, is going to be late Friday night with a very slight chance of a thunderstorm as well, but it looks more likely that shower activity will remain north and west, but still can't rule out some activity making it down the wallops. Saturday looks to be a much better chance for. Thunderstorm activity as we're going to see that front stretched across central portions of the Delmarva. So as we are going to be uh, seeing scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area with a high of 89. As we go through Sunday into the beginning of portions of next week, that's when the uh, forecast becomes a little bit more fuzzy. There's uh, The models are coming into a little bit better agreement, but still a lot is going to depend on how far south that front makes it before stalling out. Right now it looks most likely that that front's going to stall out um, in extreme points southern portion of the Delmarva or near the Virginia North Carolina border and that is going to continue uh, to give us chances for pop-up showers and thunderstorms especially on Sunday afternoon so still looking like a decent chance for some shower activity with a slight chance of a thunderstorm Sunday with a little bit cooler high of 85 as that uh, front will be south just south of us giving us a little bit of an onshore flow and then Monday Monday right now does look to be the uh, least chance for some shower activity as that front does look to be uh, shunted a little further south. Still can't rule out some pop-up shower activity, but we are only going to see temperatures in the low 80s for Monday. And then on Tuesday, it looks like we're going to get those shower and thunderstorm chances renewed a bit as that front lifts back north as a warm front, increasing our temperatures on uh, Tuesday with some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. And then Wednesday is really going to depend on uh, where that front, how far north it goes or... Uh, if it can if it stalls back out across portions of Del Marva. So a lot to uh, look into for early next week, but it does look like we're gonna be in a bit of a rainy period for the extended outlook. That'll do it for your daily wallops weather briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at eight fifteen AM and at ten AM. Have a great day.